How do you get free stuff? You know, like raise your laptops, iPhones, whatever you want, AirPods. I think I have AirPods around here. AirPods, how do you get all this stuff for free, you know? And I'm not talking about sponsorships from YouTube. I'm not talking about that at all. I'm talking about getting free stuff for real, without having to worry about the money, okay? And that's why in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to get equipment for free, like laptops. By the way, I have a huge PC back here as an Alienware. I also got them for free, and I also got my, my camera back here that I'm recording this video on. It's a Panasonic GH5 Lumix. I got it for partially free also. So how do I do this, you know? How do you get this equipment for free? And also, how do you negotiate these deals? And on top of that, how do you eventually upgrade for free? So for example, I have this iPhone X right now. I didn't get the iPhone X Max because, again, it doesn't really make sense right now. But if I wanted to, I could get that phone also for free. So how do I go about upgrading my phones and buying stuff for free all the time? So if you want to find out, stick around to this video. And on top, if you guys don't know me, my name is Hayden Bryson. I'm an accountant. I post videos every single day. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notified when I post a video, which is every day again. On top of that, hit the like button. We really appreciate it. Help the channel grow a ton. And we've been growing a ton because of all that love you guys have been showing. And I want to ask you guys a question. If you could get anything for free right now, whether a laptop, a phone, AirPods, whatever it is, what would you get for free? Comment down below. Let me know. I'm curious to find out, okay? Comment down below. Let me know. But I do want to clarify one thing before we get started into this video, and it's this guy. What I'm going to teach you in this video is a very simple technique, okay? It's not complicate it you don't need a PhD to figure it out it's none of that okay it's very simple you can use it for a phone a laptop a camera a desktop a TV a house a building it's very simple because it works you know simple things always work complicated things just complicate things okay so don't worry it's very simple to follow no need to go get your book and your PhD out the closet don't worry it's gonna be very simple to follow so now that we understand that it's very easy to actually do this entire process well let's talk about exactly how to do it okay now the first thing is this guys everything has keys and here are the keys to actually get all this stuff for free okay now the first thing is this guys to get free stuff you need to understand your market. The market is the place you're actually buying this stuff from. Whether it's Facebook, whether it's Apple, whether it's Razor, whether it's whatever you want to get, you gotta understand the market. Now, Tommy, what does this mean? It means this: How much does the product cost? So I know for a fact this used to cost a thousand dollars. This costs around thirteen hundred dollars if you buy it new. But if you pay with tax, which you have to. Depending on your state you actually live, well, you have to pay around $1,400. No big deal there, but it's still a lot of money for a laptop, and it's only 13 inches, okay? And it's very powerful, by the way. But here's my thing, guys. On top of that, you want to understand another thing, which is prices. When do the entire market prices actually drop? Which is basically like, hey, Tommy, you know how a phone you buy for $1,000 and two months later, the price drops? Well, why does that happen? You want to know? Because usually when iPhone announcements get announced, people start to sell their phones instantly because they want to save money up to buy those new products. And when they come out, well, people now are in a huge rush to actually buy those products. So they sell their products for a very low price. That's understand your market. On top of that, you want to know the difference from a fair price and a bargain price happens all the time, right? So for example, this laptop costs around $1,400 brand new, and I got it for around $880, but it's still free. I'm gonna tell you why later on in the video, but I got it for around $880. How do I get such a huge discount on a laptop that's basically brand new, okay? It's used, but it's brand new. Nothing's wrong with it, everything is perfect. How do I do this? Well, I got a bargain price, and bargain price comes from understanding the customer. I'm gonna tell you how you do that later on in the video. So you wanna understand a fair price for this laptop probably like a thousand dollars, but I didn't pay that because again, I'm looking for bargain prices, not for fair prices. So that's why I paid eight hundred and eighty dollars. Now, here we go, guys. The interesting part. Well, Tommy, I get it. You gotta understand the market. What else is there? Well, the second key is actually well, you wanna understand the customer. And the customer is basically the person you're buying it from. Now, the best way to actually do this is to analyze yourself because you want to be a customer also. What do you like about the product? What do you like about it? Okay. For example, I like the iPhone is actually secured. It's safe. And it's kind of nice. Okay. And it looks fancy too, you know, because check this out. I got the silver one. It's pretty cool. So I really like it. So that's why I like it, right? And it's also very powerful, very fast, and helps with my videos, which is also great. A bonus. But you want to take into consideration three little details, which are going to be the difference between you getting a laptop like this for 800 bucks and 1000 to 1200 bucks, depending on who you're buying from. So here's how you do it, guys. When it comes to customers, you want to understand three things, okay? Price sensitivity. You also want to understand urgency and convenience. Tommy, what does this mean? 
Well, it means, for example, price sensitivity, it means people that buy an iPhone for $1,000, usually they can afford things, so they don't really care about the money that much, okay? They only care about getting the next new thing, usually. On top of that, you have urgency. You know, when are these customers more urgent about selling these products? Now, what do I mean by this, okay? A new iPhone is coming out. I need it, I want it. So now the customer has a sense of urgency, so they want to sell their old phone as fast as possible, and they don't really care about the price because of price sensitivity, so they want to sell it to you for a bargain price instead of a fair price because, again, urgency is very important. Now, on top of that, convenience. You know, you could say this, well, Tommy, why doesn't the customer just grab the phone, put it on eBay or on Facebook or whatever, just sell it right there? Well, the answer is this. Usually, they will do Facebook because it's kind of like a meetup one-on-one, but usually they won't do eBay because you have to, you know, list the product, sell the product, ship the product, wait for the money, deposit the money, use the money, buy the phone, then you get the phone, right? It's a lot of steps. Now, most people out there don't want to deal with that. They just want to meet up, you know, make the listing, meet up, you buy it, I got my money, I get my phone. Boom, 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 bada, 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 right? So it's all about urgency, sensitivity, and also convenience. So if you know your market, this is the key right here, okay? Now, number three is this. Once you understand this data, which is basically, well, how much does it sell for? When does the price drop? What's the customer? What do they like? What don't they like? How much will they sell it for? Well, once you understand all of that, you want to use this information for your benefit. It's actually analyzing the data to actually, for example, you come to me and tell me, hey, Tommy, I noticed you're selling your phone. You need 600 bucks for it. But in reality, you know, Apple will only give you 500 bucks. And if you ship it, you do all this stuff. It's going to cost you another dollar. And it's going to cost you time. Well, you know, stop right there. Here's the phone. Give me the money. That's how it go, okay? Because it's all about making that other person's life simple, especially when I'm like, okay, I need the money to get my new iPhone X because it has three cameras now and not two. I need this so much. Well, that's what it's all about. You got to exploit that by being smart and having a strategy. Now you're probably wondering, well, Tommy, I understand, okay? I know the three keys, I know the markets, I know the customer, and I also know I need, I need to analyze the data, that's great. But Tommy, what did you do to get this laptop and to get this phone and all this fancy stuff? What did you do? Well, the answer is very simple. I followed those three steps, which is basically understand the market, the customer, and also analyze the data. So once I know all that information about my one product, which I pretty like, well, I know exactly how to go about it. So for example, I knew for a fact that I wanted an iPhone X. Pretty fancy, pretty cool stuff, right? So I wanted this phone and I said, okay, these phones right now are selling for around, by the way, it's when I bought it, selling for around $750. So if I buy it, I have to buy it for around $650 to like $500 a bargain price to make sure I get a huge profit to then make more money from this one phone. So you probably wonder at this point in time, what are you talking about? Well, in reality, my strategy is this. I buy products, I sell products, I take the profits, I sell more products until the profits go so high where I'm getting the product for free and I'm also making a profit on top of that. So in reality, to get this one phone, this one laptop, sometimes it takes me selling two phones, maybe one laptop, maybe three laptops, maybe three phones. It all depends on the product and how expensive it is. So for example, if I want the new iPhone X Max, I would buy around three to four, maybe, actually maybe two to four, you know, maybe two to four iPhone X's, buy it, sell it, buy it, sell it, buy it, sell it. The profits I would use to buy me one for free and I would just keep the money plus the profits and then guess what? I have a free iPhone X that didn't cost me a dollar, only cost me a little time. But again, a thousand dollars, two hours of work, or three hours of work really, well, you know, that's around, what is it? Like, okay, let me, let's calculate it. Alexa, what's a thousand dollars divided by three? One thousand U.S. dollars divided by three is three hundred thirty-three U.S. dollars and thirty-three cents. So I'm getting paid around three hundred and thirty dollars every single hour, or I'm saving that much money by just going about three hours of my day and just buying and flipping phones until I get it for free, basically. Okay, so you might say, "Tell me it's too hard." No, it's not hard at all. I'm gonna teach you exactly how to do it right now. Now, I do want to clarify something here, guys. Right? I'm gonna tell you a little story about this laptop, so make sure you stick around all the way to the end because I'm gonna tell you exactly how I got it, but why I got it, okay? Because it's very important to understand why I get these things. And it's not just because, oh my gosh, you're so fancy. No, I get all these things for a reason. I'm going to tell you on later on in the video. Now, 
You're probably wondering, well, Tommy, I understand, you know, you buy products, you keep selling them and selling them until you make so much money where you can actually buy the products for free. Great, you get it. But now you're probably wondering, well, Tommy, how do I go about selling the products and actually buying the products all the time? Where do I find these people? The answer is this, Facebook, Amazon, your friends, Craigslist, all that fancy stuff. By the way, Mercury, I think it's Merc Mercari, great like office, over, okay, great place to actually buy stuff over there for cheap also. So my main thing is this, you find people that are in urgency. How do you know? Because the new iPhone is coming out. Because the new laptop is coming out. Because people want to sell stuff. By the way, the guy that sold me this laptop had to make a car payment. So he sold it for really cheap. And guess what I did? I snooped in. I bought it. Great. You know, win-win. He gets his car payment and I get my laptop, which is awesome. So it's all about knowing when is the best time to buy and when is the best time to negotiate. Now, I do have book reviews and negotiations. If you don't know anything about negotiation. But the main thing is this. You want to always go low and then work yourself up high, but never start high at a fair price, okay? So if this costs around $750, i will say like, hey, how about $500? And they'll say, no way, man. I'll say like, hey, why not? You know, it's too low. Well, how about we work ourselves up? What's the best price for you? What's the best price you can do? Well, I can do $650. Damn, that's pretty high, you know? What can we do? You know, maybe I can do like $625, but that's about it. You know, how about we meet halfway at 575 I can meet there in 10 minutes you know that way you get urgency you get cash and you go straight to them so they don't have to worry about convenience you know so it's all about supplying all those little demands so you get your product whenever you want to get it so in reality to get this phone it took me around two phones to sell I see three I think I got it for free and it's 256 gigs by the way I sold like no, I sell all these phones by the way I sell them all the time just to make extra money also and to get this laptop which is the story here guys we made it all to the end congratulations by the way when you're hitting people up it's all about quantity it's not about quality okay it's all about quantity so if somebody tells you no you move on to the next you move on to the next by the way be nice okay so if someone tells you no there might be a no for now but it might turn to a yes later on okay I had people that say no to me and then later on one week later say like hey Tommy can you come over to get it I say yes Oh, sure, why not? You know, and I get the product. No problem there. So be nice always and be polite always, okay? So here's what happened with my laptop, okay? This laptop right here actually replaced my old laptop. It's a MacBook Pro 2015 mid. I actually sold it yesterday. You might have found out in one of my other videos. I sold it yesterday for around $780. You might tell me, Tommy, you lost money because it's going for $1,000 on eBay. I know, you know, I know. I put it on eBay for like around a month. I waited long enough and it just didn't sell, okay? On top of that, I take very good pictures. But, you know, the market is just strange. You know, sometimes things sell really quickly. Sometimes they don't. So, in reality, I got it for around like $3,000, by the way. I paid $3,000 for that laptop back in 2015. That's around four years, I think. So, in reality, I got my money's worth because I made photo shoots, video shoots, all my YouTube videos on that entire laptop, okay? I did everything on that laptop, and by far, that laptop managed to make me, like, way more than 3K, maybe, like, 10K, okay? So, in reality, that laptop paid for itself, and I didn't pay any interest when I bought it, because I bought it on a credit card, if you don't know that, but I didn't pay any interest because I used a promotional credit card, but this laptop cost me 880 So, in reality, I ended up paying around $120 out of pocket, but in reality, the laptop I sold... I sold it to a retailer, so I didn't have to give my chargers. So I have around three to four chargers. I also have a whole bunch of video games here in the house that I can sell for a profit of over $120. So in reality, I get this for free. So that's what I do, guys. I buy, I sell, until I get it for free. But my main thing, if you notice here, is that I don't buy things out of, oh, I want it, I need it, I get it. No, it's all about what do I need? I buy it when I need it. I need a new phone. Well, I buy it when I need it, but I make sure I'm very patient, okay? So I make sure I wait until the Apple announcement is coming. I buy a few of them. I sell a few of them. I make some profit. I buy a new one. That's it. I usually stick with a phone for around like two to three years, and then I'm good to go. A laptop, by the way, this little laptop here, it's around two to three times more powerful than my MacBook Pro 2015 mid, okay? And that was a pretty powerful PC, okay? But this has a rendering time of six minutes. The other one had a rendering time of around 20 
to 30 minutes per video. So this helps me a ton and it's for work and it's also tax deductible because it is for business. Just saying. So that's what I do guys. It's all about flipping. It's all about selling. Comment down below and let me know if you're going to do it or not. And I know, I know, I know before you go, you're asking me, Tommy, it's supposed to be free, but how do I get the money to actually buy the product and sell the product? The answer is this. I thought about it. Well, you probably have some stuff around the house. Sell it. If you have a job, so you have some money, then you start doing it, okay? But for me, I sold everything around my house. My sneakers, my shoes, my clothes. Why? Because I, I had a whole bunch of expensive stuff that I didn't need anymore, and I sold everything. I used that money, it was like $1,000, $2,000, to start flipping things, and then from then on, I started buying things that I wanted for free. That's how I did it. So, again, if you don't have any money, sell things around the house. Use that money to buy the stuff you want. Keep flipping and flipping it until you make a profit where you can actually buy it for free, and that's about it. Again, Never buy out of emotion. Always buy because you understand the market, because you understand the customer, because you understand the timing. And guys, as always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. It helps the channel grow a ton. I really appreciate it. And also, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notified when I post a new video, which is every single day. And if you want to do me one-on-one, -on -one, Una Una, DM me on Instagram at Tommy Bryson. And again, guys, I have a whole bunch of videos on how to sell, resell, and business plans right here. Click the playlist. On top of that, click my face right here to subscribe to the channel. And before I leave, remember, it's all about buying things for free by selling things over and over again until you make a crazy profit. I'll see you guys tomorrow and the next video that you're watching. And peace.